What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Walla Monkey channel. What I wanted to share with you today was seven really, really easy credit cards to get and they all offer soft pull pre-qualifications. For the most part, a lot of these are friendlier towards um, higher inquiries or fair to good scores in the 680s, the 700s and everything in between. So these are the cards that I would really focus on. Some of these are newer, they just opened up or maybe they brought pre-qualifications back or they are in fact a new card like this first one we're gonna start with. But for the most part, I think that you'll have great success uh, with these cards. Let's get started. So the first one is uh, two that we need to cover from Goldman Sachs or Marcus, which is first off the Apple card and secondly is the GM card. Now the GM card was the one that was featured in Credit uh, Credit Karma and everyone showed, it seemed like everyone showed outstanding odds, but then when you go through to do the pre-qualification, you're denied or it says it needs more information or it doesn't actually go through. Nonetheless, this does still offer a pre-qualification. It says, applying does not impact your credit score. Accepting a card after your application is approved will result in a hard inquiry, which is through TransUnion. This, if you're, uh, you're not up to speed, what we can do is, uh, there's a trick here, is we can go through the pre-qualification for both the Apple card and the GM card, and then after you get the pre-approval offer, you lock down your TransUnion, and most of the time, they still will give you the card. Uh, this is also true for Synchrony Bank card offers that we found out recently. So, same thing applies here. Uh, this is a trick that's been around for a really long time, actually, for the uh, Apple card. I'm surprised it still works, but both of those cards tend to be pretty good. Uh, for the fair to good credit and then if you've got good to great you're obviously going to get just better sign up bonus better APR and then higher limits, right? So that's the first two right there the Apple and the GM card next Let's get into some crypto cards. We've got Gemini and uh, BlockFi next both of them offer a pre-qualification Offer on their site. Uh, you got to sign up for an account uh, You got to be a US resident you're using a US IP address So if you're traveling which I am you have to make sure that you're rerouting through a US IP address because it won't even let the pages load and then they both will allow you to see a pre-approved offer with no credit impact So here's that one and I do have the Gemini card uh, That was a part of my recent uh, 60k uh, app spree if you haven't seen that video I'll link the card up above uh, We've got dedicated videos on both BlockFi and Gemini so you can go to those videos to check out more information and we've got dedicated pages over on WalletMonkey.io. So you see it's 13 to 24 uh, percent. It's a three to one card. Limits are 20, uh, 2,500 to 25,000 and this is web bank. So it pulls Experian after you get the pre-qualification and I can confirm that it does with uh, BlockFi. This one is backed by, I believe this is Deserve. So this will also be Experian. This one is Experian. I didn't like this, so I didn't personally get it, even though I could have. I did get another Deserve card that we're gonna cover in just a second, but um, yeah, here's that card. And if you wanna check out the details, I'll give this link uh, below as well. Next is Crowdfit. Crowdfit, you could go to crowdfit.com or crowdfit.deserve.com, and it's gonna push you to the app. Both places will allow you to go through a soft poll, and then uh, if you accept, then it will hard poll through Experian, I believe it was. I did a dedicated video on this too. You can check that out. Easy card to get. Um, I think you could get it with fair, whereas with BlockFi, I think this is the only one that is gonna require a good or higher credit score. I'm not even sure if that's still true because deserve underwriting tends to be more lenient. Crowdfit, again, I think you'd get away with low 700s on this as well. Next, Bank Mobile Credit. This is another deserve card. So I could go to bmtx.com. I covered this in a dedicated video, or I think uh, I can go to a a subdomain on deserve and get this as well scroll all the way to the bottom uh here it is right here the initial soft inquiry will not impact your credit score uh not everyone will qualify and it's through deserve and uh customers bank right yeah customers bank and deserve are the underwriters there so they've got both of their privacy policies it gives you more information here between 500 and ten thousand dollar credit limits so you could choose one i would suggest to not go too crazy with deserve because it's going to be just like synchrony or any other underwriter is they're gonna to start to catch on that like you're trying to run the gamut and you're trying to get all these cards and that might affect your relationship with them negatively. Uh, Bank Mobile Credit is another one that you could check out. Again, inquiries, not so sensitive on. I think you can get away with a 700, maybe even below 700 credit score on this. And of course, you can just go pre-qualify. So if you have any questions or doubts, just go pre-qualify and see what you get. And then the last one is Upgrade. Upgrade is another card I got. It's kind of a strange card. 
It is a credit card and they've got a Bitcoin rewards credit card as well, but it reports as a loan, actually, as a uh, non-revolving, right? Which I thought was strange. I do like it though, and it's really easy to use, but it's basically like this, is every time you go to use it, it essentially goes and double checks to make sure nothing, it soft pulls your credit, make sure nothing's changed, and then still honors either the, the interest rate that you got or there's a change in the interest rate. So every transaction is essentially a micro loan, or that's how it's uh, transacted internally, right? And it's locked in in its own APR, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there is cash back on this as well. Upgrade, the process of it is, is very easy, I thought. Um, it will hard pull TransUnion, but all the way at the end, after you've already accepted. And they've got uh, the card and then the personal loans. After you get the card, you might still qualify for a personal loan as well. I'm not sure if there's an order in which you should do it. If you've got data points on that, I'd love to hear from you. But this one definitely very, very lenient in terms, in terms of credit scores. I think 670s, 680s, you could even get into this because it's more like a personal loan framed as a credit card, whereas all the other ones that I covered are basically credit cards, right? Anyways, there you have it. Seven easy to get, I think, uh, credit cards. Did I miss any? Comment below if you thought I missed any or if you got additional data points that you want to share, like this video, help get in front of more people. And if you're brand new here, subscribe, hit the bell notification, turn it to all, be on the lookout, more videos coming soon.